we all need to focus our efforts on slowing the spread and bending our curve back down. BC health officials are doubling down on restrictions as the province struggles to get COVID-19 back under control. The orders imposed earlier this month for the Vancouver Coastal and Fraser Health Authorities are now being expanded province-wide and extended to December 7th. What we are talking about is reducing our social activities, both in our home and outside our home and around our work periods. For the next two and a half weeks, you're being told to avoid non-essential travel and socialize only with those in your immediate household. Your immediate household can, of course, include roommates. And if you live on your own, you can visit with up to one or two people if you regularly spend time with them. Gatherings of any size are suspended, including services at places of worship, with the exception of weddings, funerals and baptisms with a maximum of 10 people. Masks are now mandatory in all indoor public and retail spaces for anyone able to wear one. If you are at work at your desk, you do not need to wear a mask. But if you are in a shared workspace, a common space or a public space like elevators, hallways and other common areas, you do. Indoor spin classes, hot yoga and high intensity interval training must stop until further notice. All other indoor group activities must update their COVID safety plans to adhere to the new guidelines and have those publicly posted. Organized sports can continue indoors and outdoors but without spectators or travel between communities. Schools will remain open and businesses' safety plans will be inspected closely, especially at bars. If we find that they are not being adhered to, these businesses will be closed down. On Thursday, BC recorded 538 new cases of COVID-19 and one death in long-term care. There are 59 active outbreaks in the province's health care system. We need to make these orders work to stop the spread. And being 100% all in will get each of us and all of us there. In Vancouver, Travis Prasad, City News.